Hey, Chili with Chili's Cruises here. Last weekend, my friend Emma Latisse of Cruises Isn't Just for Old People and Emma Cruises on YouTube was on the Scarlet Lady. And after her weekend on the Lady, she posted a video that was absolutely brilliant about what she loved and what she hated about the Scarlet Lady. Since the Scarlet Lady is coming to our side of the pond and will be sailing out of Miami very soon, I hope you will be intrigued enough from the clips that I've used from Emma's video to, in fact, go to her video and watch the entire thing. It is brilliant. Maybe Emma's best work. We need to talk about Scarlet Lady. She's the new cruise ship for Virgin Voyages and she was always designed to be different. There's certain things about this ship which I loved and others where I really think that Virgin have made a massive mistake. Cabins are always an important issue on any cruise because you spend so much time there, even if it is sleeping. Let's take a look at Virgin Voyages Scarlet Ladies cabins and what Emma thought about it. This video by talking about the Sea Terrace cabin. This cabin has been seriously controversial because it features a converting bed. By day the cabin looks like this and by night it looks like this. I didn't have any problems with the bed itself, it was fairly comfortable. I personally don't really see the point of it converting but I do see how others would enjoy the extra space. It is just a lot more work for the cabin stewards though and I'd probably end up just asking to have it left as a bed. I had my cabin set up as a double, but the bed can also be twins. If you do have the bed as twins though, you have to sleep head to head or feet to feet, and I don't think I would want to do that. There are a few things about this cabin that I find very annoying. There's no bedside tables at all, there's nowhere to put your phone or your drink. I put my drink on the arm of the sofa, but it did feel very very dangerous. Putting it on the floor makes it feel like you are sleeping on a friend's sofa. There are some plug sockets by one side of the bed, but if you're staying on the other side, you won't be able to charge your phone when you're laying in bed. I know that these are small things, but I imagine that they would get annoying very fast. I personally like the design and the look of the cabin. Many people have described it as looking like an IKEA showroom, but I do love IKEA, so maybe that's why I like it. The closet itself is a good size, there's lots of shelves and there's space for hanging clothes. Realistically, you'll probably have your suitcases in here too because they won't fit under the bed, which is what most people do with their suitcases. If you have a particularly small suitcase, it might fit under the bed, but anything bigger than a size small is not going to fit and it's going to have to go in the wardrobe. There is something interesting in the closet though. It's the main light switch to the cabin and the do not disturb button. I had friends who stayed on this ship who actually never managed to find the button. I did, but it took me about 20 minutes. I've been cruising since I was a child and I've been on 29 cruises to date. I've never seen such ridiculous placement of a light switch. It makes no sense to me at all. You literally have to push your clothes out of the way to find the light switch. I hadn't even unpacked, I didn't have anything in the closet and it still took me 20 minutes to find the light switch. Virgin specifically hired people who hadn't worked in the cruise industry before to design this ship and it is really obvious. The ship is beautiful, but in the pursuit of style, some cruising basics have been completely left out. I was so ready to fall in love with this ship and the Virgin brand. Unfortunately, I came away more convinced than ever that Virgin aren't a cruise line for me. Emma was extremely nice to big fat cruisers like me. But to hear about that, you need to go watch all of Emma's video on the Scarlet Lady. You can find her on YouTube at Emma Cruises or on Facebook with her group. Cruising isn't just for old people, and I'm sure you will enjoy it as much as I have. Here's the link to Emma's YouTube video, and this will also appear in the description of my video below. I hope you've enjoyed the good and the bad Scarlet Lady and that you'll want to go watch Emma's video. I regularly post videos on all facets of the travel and cruise industry, so if you like to keep up with the latest in cruise ships, 
ports of call, cruises themselves, chilly chats, and travel and cruise industry news, just hit the little subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when a new video is up or we go live. This video was produced by Chili's Cruises.